So for the first time, we've taken an image of the supermassive black hole in the heart of our galaxy. This is a monumental thing for, for humanity, really. Sagittarius A star is a black hole four million times the mass of our sun and devours almost everything that comes close to it. And yet before this photo, we didn't even have direct proof that it definitely existed. This is Ziri. He took the photo. Okay, so him and around 350 other scientists. But when you're around him, maybe don't call it a photo. Strictly speaking, no, it isn't a photo. It's an image. And yeah, it's blurry. Especially because you're probably used to seeing black holes look like this, or this, or this. But those are just computer animations. Whereas this is the first genuine image ever captured of our own supermassive black hole. Something that once would have been considered impossible. It's a black hole. It's really far away and, and, and it traps light. It's meant to be invisible and inside of it, nothing can escape. So it's kind of like a gateway uh, into another part of our universe, which we can never see into. You're trying to take a picture of something which literally swallows light. And so you can't see that object directly. You have to infer its presence by looking at the matter which is swirling around that black hole. So Sagittarius A star is over 26,000 light years away. So trying to take a picture is equivalent to trying to resolve with your naked eye an orange on the surface of the moon. Or I could put it another way, it's like trying to see individual atoms in your own finger. Really difficult. Um, you need a telescope. You need a really big telescope. You need a, a telescope with a dish the size of the Earth itself. Now, obviously that's not so practical, but the Event Horizon team had a solution, thanks to one very cool thing. By synchronizing eight radio telescope arrays around the world at the exact same time, they essentially created one giant telescope, with each dish capturing a portion of the image and then, like a puzzle, piecing it together afterwards. We needed a lot of things to go right to get this image. We needed really good weather conditions at every telescope around the world. Uh, we needed people on call. We needed atomic clocks, which sync the data to, to be working properly. Uh, some of these factors we can control. Some of these factors like the weather we can't, but we were very fortunate in April 2017 that they all did and that we were able to, to record this image. Okay, so it's uh, 2022, yep. uh, what took so long? Well, there, there is a very simple answer and reason for that. It's because it was really hard. But we don't have an unobscured field of view. And what we're doing in trying to take this image is look through this crowding, look through all of this blurry, uh, varying material. That took time, it took a lot of effort. It's like the ultimate image touch-up. Not allowed to say that. <laughs> <laughs> So for the last five years, the team have been cleaning up this galactic noise to get this groundbreaking image of a black hole. Except by the time they were done, it actually looked more like this. Yeah, so the data that we recorded is radio waves, and there is no color to those. You just have intensity, so you have bright and you have dark. So why is it red? Um, we chose that color. Uh, it could have been green, it could have been blue, it could have been literally anything. We ended up going for this orangey red palette because we felt it conveyed a sense of how hot and powerful and dramatic this, this event that we're witnessing for the first time really is. We're not paid to do this. Uh, the collaboration is, is, for the most part, a community effort of scientists and, um, who are just genuinely passionate about this. It's such an exciting opportunity. This is really quite a monumental thing for, for humanity, really, to be able to take a, a picture of the cosmic abyss, of the edge of space and time, literally.